guys, welcome back to Lily's channel. And I want to just talk about the live that's actually going on right now. I keep going in and out of it. And I'm like, bro, I think they blocked me because I was trying to come in. So they blocked me. The fucking mods blocked me. I, they kiss me. They only want people to say good, positive things in their live. And what the fuck ever. Anyway, Chris. You got you a fiery ass baby mama slash supposed to be potential wife. Bro, this girl so fucking fiery. Like, sitting up just making this. Cause I'm pregnant. I can't take a step. I'm pregnant. I can't put two more than two ice cubes in a cup. I'm pregnant. I was tired of standing. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I can't. I'm pregnant. I can't. Bitch, you act like you ain't never been pregnant before. You got pregnant women out here that's single, that's married, that's separated, that probably didn't lost their husband while being pregnant, that's go fucking getters. Now, don't get me wrong. Pregnancy do make you lazy, make you tired, and make you don't give a fuck about life. <coughs> Excuse me. But I really think she's just dragging this shit to get attention from this nigga, the attention that she never had. But she's just dragging this shit to get attention it's okay to want a little attention, but it's like, girl, it's just, I'm so annoyed with her voice in the background. Oh, my anxiety is messing with me. Oh, like, everything is food. Bitch, you gonna be big in some motherfucking house when you have that motherfucking baby. Fat ass, ain't gonna be able to lose none of that motherfucking weight, because you know the older you fucking get, your metabolism slow down and everything, and you already big and tall as fuck. So, it's gonna be hard for you to lose that fucking weight. You just food, food, food. Pregnancy is not about eating all this freaking food. Like, I can't tell your ass sick and nauseated. Because when I was sick and nauseated, I didn't want to freaking eat. I had to make myself eat. But every time you turn around, oh, I want to pick it. Just all the little cliches of pregnant. Like, those cliches are so fucking 19, I don't know, 09 or some shit. Like, I need a pickle. I want sunflower seeds. Like, you so throwback. I can tell you throwback when you be talking about those songs and stuff. She always singing a throwback song that's just a mess. Like, girl, you so throwback. Sunflower seeds, pickles. Girl, don't. Girl, I know all pregnant women are different. I know this. But girl, ain't nobody wanting it. Like, I know. Like, did I? I didn't want no fucking pickles when I was pregnant. Like, I didn't want no fucking pickle. Now, what I did want, I don't like mayo. Of course, I eat, like, mayo and chicken salads and tuna and stuff, but I don't like mayo on my burgers or sandwiches and stuff. But when I'm pregnant, you can tell I'm pregnant because I eat mayo on my burgers and sandwiches and stuff. It's like, I want it. She ain't a pickle. I ain't a sunflower and seeds. She's just fucking annoying me. And some got him feeling good while he want to be on this motherfucker. He trying to get a little book, but all of a sudden, he just so happy. Like, well, you been practicing. And then when they got to the little part a minute ago, when he was like, more kids, somebody asked if y'all want more kids after this. He was about to say, hell, nah. But she must be over there like, no, don't, like, no, don't say that. So he tried to correct what he was about to say. His ass was about to say, hell to the now, to the now, now, now. Like, girl, you fucking annoying. You gonna run his ass away from you. Like, for real. Like, ugh. Oh, God. I'm like, bro. You just sit up and put a whole baby in her big, sorry ass. Like, she just so fucking siren. You got big pregnant women out here go-getters. Like, one kind of like off the top of the dome, like that's on YouTube that people kind of know, like Britney from Marsha's Party of Five. Britney was pregnant with fucking twins going to fuck. They had to sit Britney down. Britney was going to work, planning functions and gatherings with the family, being a wife, being a mother to the son that she already had at home, going to work, washing, shopping, getting her hair done, getting her nails done. Like this girl was still going. She was still going. Like, girl, you so big. Fat, nasty, fucking, just fiery. I'm not even pregnant no more. You just make me disgusted with even being freaking pregnant. Logan, mom's on the video. You just disgusted me even freaking being pregnant. Like, no. That's a no, no, mama. Oh, huh? No, no. You just disgusted me even being pregnant. It's just so annoying. I'm like, oh, bro. Like, what did you do? What, what the fuck? Like, I'm feeling sorry for you, Chris. Like, 
Ugh, she's so lazy and you spoiling her like she not gonna want to do anything when she had that baby she gonna be like chris get a bottle chris make a bottle chris change the baby's pamper chris do that chris feed the baby your titty like bitch like i can't stand women like her like i have not i ain't gonna say women because i never really been i haven't seen a couple women like that but it's mostly like younger girls like they act like that like ain't never been pregnant want attention because they pregnant for the first time and want somebody to know that they're pregnant or something like that i ain't never been around a lot of of women like that i have seen women that kind of act like she act or whatever it's just like everything logan it's just like everything everything is food 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 that's not everything that pregnancy like jazz you really need to be watching what you eat because it's gestational diabetes i had that when i was freaking pregnant just up there trying to just eat everything i wanted to eat and was craving for and had gestational diabetes i had high blood pressure and gestational diabetes when i was pregnant and it wasn't cute i didn't have to stick myself but i did have to take um pills and check my sugar and stuff two times a day and it was just a mess on top of being sick. But I didn't find out I had gestation of diabetes to my last trimester. Bitch, you ain't even in your last trimester yet. You just sitting up eating all them big salty ass noodles. If you look at that sodium intake of them noodles on that noodle box, that's a lot of fucking sodium, bitch. Like, stop doing it. The baby is healthy. I'm glad that your baby is healthy. I want your baby to be healthy. But, honey, you got to think about what's going to happen to your body afterwards. Like, Chrissy, her motherfucking big ass, too. Like, Chrissy, stop having those kids. That's enough. That's enough kids for you because your body gonna it's gonna take you tell me it already took a toll on your calcium that stuff is gonna take a toll on all that you know giving birth to all those kids on your body trust me i know it's then took a toll on my body like as you get older or whatever all that stuff starts to sink in blood pressure and all that that's why i be looking at them I'm like y'all hoes ain't fighting with high blood pressure and diabetes pre-diabetes like y'all big as a motherfucker i'm i'm smaller than y'all and i'm up here fighting all this stuff like huh but anyway, Chris, she fucking fine. That's the only thing I hear. She just in the background. Just, girl, shut the fuck up. Like, oh my, if this extra jazz and Chris, if this is your own personal channel where you do pregnancy updates, just do that shit on that channel. Let's just hear about what's going on here when he trying to do. Then another thing, they was talking about what she was going to get him. Why you don't have nothing planned? That's what I've been doing today. I've been out in these Corona streets. Trying to find some little eyes and ends and everything for my husband. And really couldn't find a lot of stuff that I was trying to really get or look for him. Because he's so difficult. He just really be wanting stuff for his car and stuff like that. So, I'm just like, I just went to the bank. Drew some money out. Got a car. And that's what I'm going to get him. Some money and a freaking car. I'm going to cook him a big ass dinner for Sunday. And tomorrow, me and the kids going to take him after dinner. I think we're going to go to Georgia. What's the name of the restaurant? Georgia Blue. We're going to go to Georgia Blue. And... Sunday, I'm going to fix some of dinner. She up there thinking it's cute. This man is telling you he don't care nothing about the gifts or nothing. He just care about a big-ass dinner. Bitch, you find out what his favorite thing is. You should already know. You don't have to find out. I know what my husband's favorite dinner is. He's like Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, cornbread, and some vegetables. And he going to want some carrot cake, like a homemade carrot cake. I know his favorite freaking dinner. That's what the freak I'm going to cook him for Sunday. Like, girl, what is you doing? If you feel like you can't cook, you make yourself what come on um you can walk me through it walk you through it bitch walking you through it it's just like cooking the motherfucking shit what the fuck you mean walking you through it like you get your fat ass in there take your fucking pregnancy uh nausea medicine because i know exactly the nausea medicine that you're taking because i had to take that same nausea medicine you take your uh nausea medicine uh that evening before because it make you sleepy but one thing about it when you take that nausea medicine the night before you wake up feeling it's like it make you sleep real good and you wake up feeling good Take that medicine so you can be amped up and go and do that that morning. You know, if you can't do the breakfast, don't do the breakfast. Just order him some breakfast, and then you could go in there and cook the little dinner and stuff like that. And, hell, if you ain't going to do that, just go out to eat. But, you know, everything going to be packed because everybody going to be trying to take their fathers and stuff out. So, you know, stuff going to be packed. And then we got all the pandemic restrictions and stuff with this restaurant. So, you know, everything going to be packed. So, that's why... My husband, I'm taking my husband somewhere tomorrow. Hopefully, things won't be too difficult tomorrow. We're going to go somewhere tomorrow before 5. But, yeah, like, she's just sorry as hell. She think that shit cute, but it really ain't. Like, bitch, you supposed to be a potential fucking wife. He doing a Chris do all the cooking. It's don't get me wrong. It's okay for Chris to cook. It is okay. But, girl, get up in there and fix that man some cornbread and some. And not no goddamn, what's that neck bones, bitch? No. Go in there and cook that man a nice, good really a nice good soulful 
uh, stick to him meal, even though he don't need none to stick to him because his hips is wide enough. But he is a no daddy, part time step daddy. So go ahead and do that because he be dealing with your little nappy head kids and stuff. So go up in there and um uh, do that for the man. She just is psyched. This girl is so fucking annoying. Like that's why I'm not even doing no videos on you, bitch. Cause you just get you. You just a fucking mess. Like you tapped out. You ran the fuck out. Like girl, you just really getting on my nerves. Your voice getting on my nerves. Just I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I can't walk too fast. I'm pregnant. I be out of breath. Bitch, you act like you ain't never been pregnant before. I'm swear I would give this bitch a pass if this was her first baby. If this was her first baby, I would give her a fucking pass. You're not getting no fucking pass, bitch. This is your fifth fucking baby. Yes, correct. Our pregnancies are the same because Logan was my very, very... She was the worst. But... I wasn't complaining to my husband. Now, I was mean as a motherfucker to him. It's just like, if I don't say nothing, you don't say nothing to me. But I wasn't just always complaining, complaining. Oh, 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 oh. I let him know the serious stuff that was going on with me because it was serious stuff was going on with me. I was high risk and all this stuff. I let him know that type of stuff was going on with me. But I just wasn't sitting up freaking complaining until the end. And after the end, I was complaining. I was like, I want this baby out of me. But, yeah, I had to understand that my husband had 12-hour shifts that he had to pull at work while I sat on my fat ass at home and shopped all day online and ate what the fuck I wanted to eat and was sick and all this shit on the couch. I wasn't going to bring him down, but one thing my fat ass did do, I made sure he ate. I made sure, yeah, my husband, well, shit, my husband used to actually get three meals then. When I was pregnant, he got three meals. I used to fix him breakfast. He used to have his breakfast. I fixed him lunch. And then, well, of course, when he came home, we had dinner. But, yeah, I was fixing him breakfast. And I was even fixing um, breakfast and stuff for his coworkers because his coworkers was loving my breakfast. So, I was fixing extra food and stuff for his coworkers and stuff like that. So, that's what, like, girl, we got women out here. That's not even stay at stay at home moms. They're working. They're working eight hour, twelve hour, ten hour shifts, bitch. Like getting it in, grinding, coming home, fixing dinner for their families. And like I said, Brittany from the Marshall Five, she is one of them. I watched Brittany when she was pregnant because I was pregnant. She had her babies before she. Uh, I had my baby. I watched Brittany when she was pregnant, girl. Chris, don't let her fool you like this, how this shit go. You got women out here pregnant that handle their motherfucking business and don't sit up and wait on their baby daddy to come and pass them a cup, okay? Uh, I got off the live. It probably was more than fed, but I'll come back. I'ma just make this part one of they bullshit ass lie. He, she was annoying me. Usually it's Chris annoying me, but bitch, you just was aggy, aggy, bitch, you're aggy. Oh my God. Logan, what are you doing? Give it to me. Thank you. That being said, I'm out.